Hello friends, today we are going to make a project in code.org using the sprite lab. We will make a game called age criteria where we will see that if the boy can vote for the elections or not. So let's get started. Click on the create button you can see on your screen. Click on it and select sprite lab. You will see a screen loading in front of you. Okay, so here's, a, here's the screen. As a re recap, this is the play area where, where your game will work, where you can see your game. This is the toolbox where you can see all your codes. And this is the workspace where you write the code for your program. So let's get started. So first, we do not need this sprite here. So let's just click on it and drag it to the block space here. Done. Now first, let's set a background for our play area. Let's go to world and there are two options here. Which one to select? This is set background to it will have a background like city, cave or rainbow behind just like that and there's a set background color where you will set the color of the background so i take this first block for example you can take any one of your choice um i'll take a city yes that's cool okay let's move let's go to sprites meaning uh, they are characters that that uh, are in our program so we need to take the first block for creating a sprite so let's drag it below set background so this is the location and this is the sprite i need a boy not this rabbit okay so let's go there are so many sprites here i need a boy um i can't find a boy where is it oh no where's the boy who will i make my project no worries let's go to more to find our boy let's go to people to find them and um, for example I take this boy why didn't it come because it's it's just added to our sprites collection so we need to click on it to select it. the boy came nice and if you want to change the size, if you want to take this, uh, take this block and keep it there. Uh, I'm not doing it because the size is appropriate for me. You can change it according to your wish. And don't forget to change the sprite. Change the sprite to the boy or whatever character you have set to. Don't let it be by default. Okay. So we now need its age for the voting elections. So, if, uh, if we want to vote, the person's age should be minimum 18 or more than that. So, where will I find the very, uh, where, where will I find to set value? So, let's go to variables. Variables are used to set a value to something. So, we need to set the value of the boy's age to a number. So, let's go to variable. We need to create where's age there's no age you need to create it take the second block over there and rename this click on the arrow here and click on the second option you can see rename all i so write it as age done and click on rename set age 2 is the block here so now let's go to math we need the block which can insert its age or the number so let's take this block it is found in math the third block so let's click on it and put the age for example i put 90 yes now we need to say if he can vote for it or no your, uh, your age needs to be 18 or more than that and his age is more than that so 
Um, where will I find that? I will find that in logic. Let's go there. And pick the first block there. That if block. In the logic. Click on the star. We need to change the block. So click on the star. And this is the if box. This one. And uh, this is the if else. The if else will be added here. And if we do this, it will change to else. Let's change the book block to else. Here's the L. Now how to get rid of this box? Just click on the star once again. Good. So let's keep going. Now again go to variables. We need to put the age here. So let's go to variables. And we can see the age block at the last which we created. With this drag it to the first blank you can see done and here we need the age so what's the maximum age minimum age to what that is 18 so again let's go to the math which i taught you take to take the third block for inserting any number in anything so let's keep it as so this is the age 18 and we need to change the symbol. It should not be equal to 18. It can be more than that or equal to it. So we'll put the sign at the last. Good going guys. So now here we need to print uh, we need to print a text saying that uh, you can't vote. So go to text which you can see above comments. The last one is comments. Above that you can see text. So the first block there. Let's drag it to this one. To if block. Now let's write. You can vote. Okay. So this is our message. And you can press enter for that. Next, what should we put in the else block? Go to text again. Take the same block as we we should uh, as we should put the next one. So let's put it as you cannot vote as you are. You are small for that. Let's change the tone. You are not eligible to vote as you are. Let's put us as too small for that, okay? So the double O. Two. Yes, that's good. So let's see if it works. Click on the run button. It shows that you can vote. Now let's try with it with another age. Let's keep this age as 15. Huh? Okay, so press enter. Now let's see. You are not eligible to vote as you are too small for that see done and then if you have login so you will have your name here and for the the benefit of logging logging in is that your all the projects would be saved there but if you don't log in it would just be a project there and then when you again uh, when you again come to Code.org, you can't see that project at, as you have not logged in. It all goes. It's just free. And then to save it with a name, go to rename and name it. I put it as age criteria. Done. And click on save. It's saved. So, how how to see your own projects so let's go to coder 
click on my projects you can see all your projects there see these are my projects so thank you guys this is all enough for today thank you for seeing my videos